Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is just going to be a very quick video showing you some uh, alternatives to whiting on uh, acrylic paint. Uh, in my previous video where I did the mixed media background with the odd girl, the, that part of it, um, I was using a Stabilo. It's called Stabilo All and it writes on acrylic uh, paint and whatnot. Now this is a page that I did the other day where I did Crackle with Mod Podge. And um, as you can see, I mean, it's crackly deliciousness. So I want to um, write on here and show you guys how different things, you know, that you might have around the house work. I even have other things that I don't know if I have sitting here. I will have to look in a minute, but we're going to start with these. This is the Stabilo All. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I have white. I have black. My white needs sharpened, obviously. Where's my sharpener? Here it is. Excuse my arm. Excuse my arm. And um, I'm going to use Neo Color 2 in black, which, a water, which is a watercolor crayon. Now, Reeves has a watercolor crayon. You can use your um, portfolio uh, water-soluble pastels. Uh, there's a lot of things we can use and a lot of fun to be had. So... Let's just get to getting. Okay, so these are made to write on, like I said, acrylic. So what I will do is I'm going to now look at that, how, I mean, that's very opaque. And I can color in. Of course, you'll get some texture because of the crackle underneath. But you can see that's beautiful. So, of course, you can write and that kind of thing with it. And the beauty of this is if you take some water, you can liquefy it so it becomes water soluble now it does not become permanent so my suggestion and i'll show you in a second is do your what do i do with my uh, i swear if i had a brain i'd be a millionaire okay so i'm going to do this again i'm going to just do a heart and i'm going to take this time i'm going to dry my brush and I'm going to take a little bit of my Mod Podge mat. Now you can use your Mod Podge paper or whatever you have. Uh, white school glue if you want. Make sure there's no water because you don't want it to run. And I like to go in and I like to liquefy it with my Mod Podge. And what that will do is help it become a little more fixed. It's like your fixative. Now obviously, you know, you're going to have to uh, make sure you hit those outside draw lines. But I like to put a coat, let it dry, and then go over it one more time. But as you can see, it liquefies it as if you're using water. And you kind of get a, you know, a very cool, almost like an ink look. And that's kind of what you're doing. But you can see it definitely goes over acrylic. Now this is, you know, acrylic paint and it's thick and it's deliciousness. So that's one thing. Now they also have Stabilo Alls in a million colors. They have white. They have, let me see what else I have, yellow, green, red, brown, um, all kinds of different colors. If you would like me to do a quick video on all the Stabilo colors, let me know down below. I would love to, but I just don't want to bore anybody with my excitement over water-soluble pencils. This is white, and we're going to do the same thing. Look at this. So you can trace. You can do the same thing with the glue if you want, but you can see... My hands are killing me today. I'm so sorry. You can see it goes right over that. Okay. Even over this, but it's, you know, it's easier to see on camera on the red. And again, you know, you can do the glue trick or water and <laughs> clean your brush first though. So you don't get that black on there. And then it does the same thing. It liquefies it and you get that delicious white or gray. If you accidentally move, mix some of that black in there. Okay. Again, that is not permanent, um, you know, unless you use a glue or something, but definitely you can give a quick spray of something. I mean, that's a whole other video for me to do about those. So um, now these are, oh my God, must move everything over. This is a Neo color too. It comes in a million different colors. It's a water soluble crayon and I can do right here. Same thing, and if I want to do there, you see the same thing. Okay, and obviously, you know, you can see it a little bit better on the yellow. 
you go in with water or like I said, I go in with some Mod Podge matte. I mean, you can use a gloss too, or your paint, whatever you have. Um, that isn't going to hurt nothing. And I think using Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Jesus Kelly, um, gloss would be awesome because you go over it and you get a nice shine and gloss. Oh girl, I'm going to do that in my, on my next thing I do. Okay. So anyway, I get so excited when I think of things in my head, which I'm, you know, I'm sure it's been done a million times, but that's what I'm going to do. So you see, that's a Neo Color 2 crayon. These are wonderful. Let me show you. I get excited. I get excited. And you can get all kinds of colors. I'm sure you've seen these used before. Um, and you get all kinds of colors. So you can use whatever color you want. I'm just going strictly for the black uh, and white today. Just, just because. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I can really get into uh, a mess with... Uh, going through all kinds of different colors. Okay. But again, you want to see something? You want to see these demoed? Uh, the Neo Color 2s, of course. Just ask down below and I will do a video doing those as well. Now these, these are called China markers and they're made from Sharpie. And what these are, uh, they're peel off China markers. And what that means is it has a string. So as you use it, you just pull the string and you pull the paper off and it, you know, kind of unwinds off, I guess. It's, for lack of better description, that's how I describe it. And these are great. These work on glass, plastic, you know, slick surfaces, which essentially is what dried acrylic paint is. So we'll do up here. The only thing with these, and it's not a bad thing, the only difference is these are not water soluble. So you use it and you're, it's gonna stay where you put it, okay? So you can see that's on the red. I mean, it works just as good. And then here's on the yellow and I'm just coloring it in. I'm not being fancy and worrying too much. I just kind of want you to see. And you see, works just as good. So you can write words, you can write, you know, whatever on your acrylic paint and you're good to go. Like I said, it will not, it does not smear. It doesn't do anything that's on there for good. It also comes in white and again, I mean, look how opaque that is on your, whatever you're doing. Now, mind you, this has, you know, thing lines and stuff because of the crackle, but you can see it works very well on both. Not a big deal. So these are fantastic. And these come in a million different colors as well. There's, um, reds and blues and blacks. And if you want to see more of how these are used, let me know down below. Okay, this is a watercolor marker. This is a Marvy brush marker, but of course it could be a Spectrum, not a Spectrum Noir, a, um, well, yeah, Spectrum Noir makes watercolors, but it could just be a watercolor marker all the same. And what this does is, ugh, I gotta open it. It will write, and I'll just put some in there, just a little bit in there, and it becomes, liquefied as well. And because it's a watercolor marker, and let me tell you, watercolor markers, especially if you go to like uh, AC Moore and Michaels and use your coupon, they have store brand ones you can get. Like I said, Blitzy has watercolor markers on sale. They have like the big packs. Uh, what is it called? Art, art bin, art something. Um, cause I want to buy certain things off of there, uh, for my stencils, but they have that kind of thing. So, um, you know, very inexpensive. So like I said, check out Blitzy, check out your local craft store. These are fantastic. Now, if you want to color in, like you just saw me do, um, you could take a little bit of your marker and go over that, uh, China marker and fill it in a little bit more opaque if you want to. So, I mean, look at this. All fantastic ways to draw on your <clears throat> acrylic paints. Now, these are watercolor pencils, and this is hair and skin tone. These are wicked old. Okay, so I'm going to take black. Of course, you can use, I mean, we can use another, we'll use maroon. Come on, baby. And let's do that here. Again, watercolor. color it in 
and you won't be able to see it on there as much. I can see it a little bit, but I don't think you can see it. So I kind of like using black or white. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that there. And then let's go over this. Yeah. Okay. But you can see those beautiful colors in here. And then... Oh my God, my hands are just like doing whatever they want to do. All right, and then you can see how you can aquify it. <laughs> I don't know what word. Let's aquify it, shall we? And then you can see here again. Use your uh, Mod Podge, Paper Podge, Mod Podge. Um, you know whatever you have that's permanent. White school glue, you know, to liquefy it to get it going. But you can see, you definitely can, you know, get good stuff from there. Now, worst comes to worst, and I've done this more times than I can tell you, and I'm not ashamed. I have this Distress Permanent Mixed Media Ink Palette. Now, you don't have to, this is an ink pad. You don't have to use permanent. You can use whatever ink pad you have. Go to your local uh, AC Moore, Michaels, and all that. They have all the store brand ones. They usually have a dollar bin. Look on Blitzy. They have tons of ink pads on sale there. Um, and as you can see, you know, some of this goes you know, that sits on the lid, right? So I can pull from there and get all that extra goodness up and I can paint or I can wet my brush a little bit and go in to just a little bit of it. If you want to do shadow, if you want to, let's do it over here. If you want to do anything like that, you can definitely, let's hope there's some juice still in here. You can definitely use this. Now this might be better on, yeah, see that's better on regular paper. Let's see, this regular paper. It's coming up better on regular paper, so. So you can see a little bit better. But you see how you get some of that as a painterly look? Oh my gosh, Kelly! As a painterly look. So you definitely can do, you know, if you have an older uh, ink pad, even new ones, <laughs> that you're like, you know what, maybe I only have a little bit of the ink left in there or whatever, but I've done this to shadow faces and to shadow eyes and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, there's always ways if you think about, you know, what you can do. So these are just a few things, like I said, let me know. The um, Sigma, uh, Sigma, Sigma, I'm thinking of makeup, the Sigma um, Uniball, this is white. I probably showed you this one before. It writes so wonderful. Um, this comes in different colors as well. You can find these everywhere. And like I said, the uh, jelly roll, the jelly pens, so many different brands. This one just is not going to work for me today. Now, what I probably did was I probably um, got dried acrylic paint on here at some point and that's why it's not drawing and I'm keeping it because I really have hope that one day it'll work but yeah so let me know what you guys think this is fun let me know if you want to see anything in a fuller fuller kind of product kind of thing um these are fun they ran on top of acrylic and it really when you're doing your mixed media or art journaling or whatever uh to, to use them last if you're going to use like a um watercolory kind of thing like the stabilo or something that you can reactivate in any way um, you use it last in your art journal or mixed media or whatever. It's not going to move because you're not putting anything on top of it. You make sure it's your last layer. So I love you guys. Share me everywhere. And if you just found me and would like to be subscribed to me, please click that subscribe button down below. And the little bell next to it will um, notify you when I upload. Uh, the Blitzy link, the, um, what else did I say I was going to link? The Blitzy link, I think that's all I was going to say. Yeah, I can't even remember. I think the Blitzy link anyway will be down below. Um, but check your local craft stores as well. Uh, there are paint pens. There's so many other things I could go and, and show you on here. But, um, you know, just let me know if that's something that you guys would like a video on. So, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. Progress, not perfection. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.